Hello! We're here in Guru Larry's garden in order to play a 28-year-old board game based on Pac-Man for some reason. Get your hands up! Ah! I've told you it's before! It's my bloody game! Only my hands in shot. Don't make me get the whip. Right, we've reached an agreement to open the box together. It's not mine. I don't want to do it. I'll review on my own. Be quiet. Right. What lurks inside? Answer, lots of gaudy plastic tat. Basically, the idea of the game is you take control of this terrifying serrated teeth Pac-Man, or one of his four equally gaudy friends, to avoid the green ghosties and steal as many marbles as possible. So basically, Stuart, it's Hungry Hungry Hippo's Mensa edition. That works for me. Right, as with so many of these old British board games, instructions on the inside of the lid so you can't lose them in your childish idiocy. Right, let's set this thing up and play. And let me win, please. Cost you. Okay, before we start, I must explain that uh, as anybody who's seen our videos will probably guess, we're losing our marbles, and indeed with five missing from this set. So we've uh, left out the corner ones and that one there for no particularly good reason. Well, we run out of corners. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like everybody says in my YouTube messages, I don't have any balls. Right, who goes first? Roll your dice, Larry. Two. Wow. Ah, here you go. Oh, no. <laughs> and again, this is going to take best part of the afternoon, isn't it? No, no, no I'll, I'll do that properly. <laughs> That's the worst cheating throw I've ever seen. Like that would be cool to spin it, hasn't it? I rolled a six. <laughs> First go, right? I win. Larry is blue Pac-Man, I'm red Pac-Man, I don't know why. We were a little confused about rules to do with the Pac power pellets here, but um, we've come to an agreement. Yes, one per... Yeah. Round as well. That's it. Yeah. it. The way the rules are written, you could basically keep all four of these and then be immune to ghosts for ages. So uh, yes. we're getting around that rule. Five. So I get to move. Yep. The, I can hoof him three or two. Yeah. Yep. So I move him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm noticing a problem yes. already with these yes. action features. This, this game's got a glitch. Yeah. Take three. Marvelous. And. One, two. Spooky. There we are. Now you get to empty your balls into your bucket. Oh! That's <coughs> the bucket. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, big numbers. One, two. Why am I going towards the ghost? <laughs> Three, four, five. Six and one, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's five. You went six without and five. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry. Are you cheating? <laughs> I'm not very good with numbers. Oh, hang on. I've got to spit my seed. Right. Three. So I'm going to one, two. This will get very irritating very quickly. Yeah, this looks really cool on television in the Argos catalogue, but now we've got it out. Oh, this Pac-Man serrated teeth are freaking me out. They're like little piranhas. Uh, same pose as that one. Okay, okay. <laughs> get over your own side! <laughs> Eat my dust, green ghost. Uh, Why are both the ghosts the same colour? That's disappointing. They're different little boys. Yes. I'm just needing advertising there. One, two, three, four. Oh. That, that means you can't return your ghost on me. Ah. Hmm. How did you get to. How did we agree the buffer? <laughs> we saw the well, this next turn. Yeah. That's oh, it. You yeah. get. Yeah. So we say it so basically if you can, you can eat a ghost on the turn you pick it up or the turn after. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense to me. It gives you a bit of longevity, but uh, good old Milton make Bradley it. making up rules as we go along. All those things it doesn't explain in detail. Often with things like who wins. No, oh, I could have blocked you in then. You could have done. I couldn't. I'm way out. I'm immune to ghosty types anyway. Right, five. Can I reach him? One, two, three, four. I can. One, two, three, four, five. I get that ball ball. And he's gone, and you have to give me two of your marbles. <laughs> I've lost my marbles. It's like Christmas come early, and two. In um, small spherical white. white. Mm. Yes. One. Are you still on the yellow? I 
Well, you are actually. Yes. Ah, yeah. oh, pitiful just this turn as well. Um, to be able to hover near you menacingly, <laughs> haunt you literally. Me, yeah. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. This will be a lot more fun with sort of three or four people. Well, yeah. Yeah. Of course, you have no other friends. No, we shouldn't have eaten them all. <laughs> There we are. Three. <laughs> yeah, those me. <mirrors. laughs> yeah. I'm blue. <laughs> That's how intrigued I am, so I forgot which colour I am. Uh, one, two, oh. three. And one, one of these yellow for another two. You oh. Have you filled, have you emptied your ball slot for a while? Uh, empty your load? No, I haven't actually. <laughs> Let's shoot my load into the uh, receptacle. For some <laughs> reason, I think you're beating me. Oh yeah. I like this game more now. And two. And in two. You can't, I've got a oh. power pellet. Poo. Oh. Until next time anyway. There you go. Matter of interest, why didn't you take that ghost to therefore get two marbles off me? Because I'm stupid. Oh I see! <laughs> <laughs> because suddenly it all becomes clear. Well that ghost is passive aggressive, that's the ghost of Gandhi. <laughs> Don't we get directly involved. Oh yes. Double six. Now we is talking. Um, and I've still got the yellow one to go from last turn. So is the dog. Yeah. Why's the yellow now run out? Uh, because I've got this one in here. Yeah. And you're... Yours is still active for another turn though, isn't it? Oh, okay. So, uh, I can't remember if mine is or not. Is it? Well, you're well, sitting well, on it, so you must be. Oh yeah, fair point. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bollocks! <laughs> Where did he come from? From the middle. <laughs> Let's see him go back there. Come on. Uh, That's it. Can I, can I go back? I can't go back with a ghost, can I? Nope. One, two, three, four, five. Just stare at you menacingly. Yeah. Yes. Freak you, I So I still have the power pills. Oh. All I've got to do is get <laughs> one or more, and I get two <laughs> other stuff. I must play you at chess sometime. Uh, five and one. Um, as long as I get to be the horse here. <laughs> You'll never remember how they move. Uh, oh. One, two, three, four, five. And two of your balls, please. Thank you. Dump this load, actually. Should we bother counting them up at the end? And we just... <laughs> yes, because it's not fully totally humiliating for you if we don't. Uh, and came from there, I think, didn't it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Let's count up the white ones and see who's got the most, shall we? Oh, I do pray that you're numerically dyslexic. And <laughs> <laughs> you can more than that. Yeah. <clears throat> right then, so we can. <laughs> you want to rub it, it slowly. You want to rub it in, don't you? Yeah. Two, four, six, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-five. Right, yeah, you, you, you count. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five, eight, five, sixteen, twenty-eight, six, seven, seven, fourteen, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That was sung by the Pointer Sisters on Sesame Street, something I found out the other day. Interesting. No, not at all. <laughs> right. Marvellous. Well, I didn't think that was going to be a good game, but then I won, <laughs> so it was. Join us next time while we play Zaxxon and Larry slams my head into the board repeatedly. Get you! I'll get you, Penelope Pitstop! Now, here's a question about Penelope Pitstop, right? The villain from that was called the Hooded Claw. Yeah. Didn't have a hood, didn't have a claw. Why was he called the Hooded Claw? Hmm. Maybe it's to uh, hide his identity some more, because he was looking for a guy with a claw and a hood. <laughs> yes, oh, that's true, yeah. In fact, he was just like a big-nosed pervert with a mask on. He was also a uh, uh, thingy's brother in Bewitched. He played a whole uncle. Oh, yes. And he always the same voice as well. Good grief. Yes. Did he pretend to be a lawyer one minute and some sort of dastardly woman killer the next? And was he thwarted by the Ant Hill mob? <laughs> what was her relationship with the Ant Hill mob? There was something very strange going on there. Oh, she's probably... <laughs> Probably pimping her, so yeah. Yeah. You've got a load of midgets in a large car driving around, constantly listening out for you, going, hey, hey, <laughs> tied to a log going into a bloody band yeah. sort of, you know. Rather than bootlegging or, you know, pirating moonshine and a thing, <laughs> for some 
Oh, that rook woman did three times there. Oh, yeah. And they had no chance though, because they know full well she was going to get off with that Peter Perfect yeah. from her wacky races anyway. Oh, well. Anyway, Pac-Man. <laughs>